Should we uh, start recording now? Yeah. Okay. Well, can we count down or something? Yeah. Uh, let me know when everyone's ready. We'll do a, a clap sync. Uh, okay. I'm recording now. Wait, clap sync, Grant? A clap sync. Wait, you said clap sync? Is just this a Grant? bit or? Yo, hold on. Can you just say yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, I thought we'd get everything from besides the kitchen sink in here, but now we got a clap sink. All right. Hey! Y'all listen up. Here's the story. <laughs> That's how that song starts off. Prepare to be fucked by the wolf. Prepare to be fucked by the wolf. to Thought Cops, the only podcast where every week we police the mean streets of the internet because, hey, somebody's got to do it. And then we let you be the judge, the jury, and the executioner in the court of public opinion. Coming to you live from Neo Chicago, I'm Officer Kevin. And I'm Grant Lutzko. Grant, how's your week been going? I want to ask Nick Lutzko if he'll be my dad. That sounds nice. Let's give a quick thank you to our guest from last week, Alex Patak. Thank you. Get your hands up. And let's give a warm welcome to a brand new guest to Thought Cops. We have Matt Nisbet. Hey! Hey! Thanks for having me, boys. Absolutely. How the hell Thanks are you? Coming on. Good, 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 man. Appreciate you guys finally having me on. You know? Absolutely. I know it's been a long time coming. Uh, Matt, you are part of the armada known as not for human consumption. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when I say what armada, you, why don't you tell us a little bit about that show. What's that show about? What is that? Our right. show is basically about four friends hanging out on a Friday, going over the week of bullshit that happened to them, going over the bullshit that happened out in the world. Uh, it's very community focused on the second half where people send us there. We'll simp your garbage, your internet garbage, and we'll watch any of the horrible things people find and, uh, okay. you know, just get, get drunk. They get my other co host they get stoned. I'm just, I just drink. And then, uh, yeah, we just have a now, good time. What kind of horrible things are you watching over there? Uh, mostly poop and comes people shitting and farting and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the it's usual. Accurate. It's very accurate. <laughs> So now I, I can understand why you call it not for human consumption. Oh, absolutely. Nobody should check it out. But check it out. <laughs> NFACpodcast.com. <laughs> and Matt, you're also streaming on Twitch quite a bit under Grimwolf Prime. Yes. Uh, pretty much like four nights a week. Three. That's three awesome. to four nights a week. Yeah. Been doing that for like a year and a half, two years. What have you been playing on these days? Oh, man. You, you know, everybody loves Wick, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, a motherfucker yeah. bought me Yakuza Zero like a year ago, and I just started it like <laughs> like eight days ago. Oh, nice. And I'm that enamored is, uh, with uh, the complexities and inner workings of 1988's uh, Tokyo Japanese real estate. Yes, I love so, that game. One of my all time <laughs> favorites. Seriously, God damn. I didn't know it. I've never played one at all. So he got me that one to start because even though it's newer, as in released in the timeline of real life, it's the first. It's before the first one ever. So right. it's a good jumping off point, you know? What else you been playing on there? Oh, uh, me and my buddy Home Slice from our Discord, we've been fucking going through every Saturday night on eight hour streams, just beating like all the Halo games. Jeez. From start to finish in one stream. You guys playing through the uh, the remakes? Yeah, the Master Chief collection, stuff like nice. that. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. Glad to hear you're staying busy. I know a lot of people are having a hard time figuring out what to do with themselves uh, during the pandemic. 
Yeah, it sounds dude. like you got it all figured out. So, got it all great. figured out. And <laughs> I also want to formally re-invite you back on our show because we finally got you on our show. All right. right as right. the pandemic hit. Yeah, that's like, right. It was like the first week of it hitting and it actually seemed like, are we all going to fucking die, bro? Yeah. So <laughs> that that, that didn't. episode was uh, pretty, uh, pretty sad boy hours, if you will. Well, I mean, has have the sad boy hours actually ended, though? Uh, but they're more hidden now. I've they're spent, more, yeah, <laughs> I've spent twenty three hundred in alcohol alone since it started. So that'll do it. That'll yeah. do it. So yeah, not for human consumption. Uh, Grant and I have both been on that show, so check it out. Yeah. Uh, we've we've been butting heads for uh, what feels like forever now. Uh, Thought cops and not for human consumption. So it's all I you, love. Yeah, you owe it to yourself to check out the opposition. I'd say you know. Oh. We're opposing each other again. Just out of, no, I'm just saying out of fairness, <laughs> out of complete fairness, I think the listeners should, you know, just go ahead and check it out. We'd appreciate it. Uh, speaking of Twitch, though, Grant and I have been hitting that pretty hard recently as well. Yeah. And we finally, uh, you know, we, 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 we've been affiliate status on Twitch for a while and we've made enough money that Twitch is letting us take the money out of our account and uh, oh, giving it to shit. us, which... Uh, Quite frankly, we forgot about. Then all of a sudden, I got a notice in my bank account <laughs> that I had received money from Twitch. So thank you to everybody who has been donating. Now we can actually get the money from Twitch.tv. So uh, go to if you have honestly, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. It's already included. Go to yeah. gaming.amazon.com/prime. Uh, link your account for free. Go mm-hmm. to Twitch.tv/thoughtcop. We're both Prime. I mean, well, sorry. <laughs> oh, you, I guess you got to. You you, <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead. No, you you can do one. You can alternate. You can alternate once oh, a hell month. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, because uh, every 30 days you get a free subscription. Uh, you know, if you're choosing. So yeah, uh, hit us up. Twitch.tv slash Thought Cops. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, once every 30 days, or however often you would like to, it'd be a huge help for us. And, it actually yeah. does really help. Oh, big time! Yeah, it's like you know we're we're we like to stay busy. Uh, same as you, doing the podcast, doing Twitch, doing writing, working on videos. And I got to say, it's nice to make a make a little bit of money for all that hard work. Mm-hmm. You know, it does go it does go a long way. Plus, now and you it, can tell people that you're a professional gamer. because You yeah. actually got money for playing video games. Oh, my God. You're right. <laughs> Take that. Got mom it. And dad. If you hey, you know what? If honestly, for you know, it's not like we're making bank on there or anything, but if you could have gone back in time and told six year old, seven year old me that I would be making money, any money by playing Nintendo, I would have been thrilled. I would have <laughs> yeah, been you thrilled. You guys lean on the you guys lean on the Nintendo stuff hard and it's awesome. Yeah, we have been. Um, I'm looking to switch it up with a lot more. We we've, we've been doing a lot of uh like not just video games, tier ranking stuff as well. We were ranking our favorite Family Guy characters, our favorite brands of water bottle, our our favorite breakfast cereals, all kinds of fun stuff. So it's it's fun to come hang out. We're going to be doing a call in show as well somewhat soon. So you're going to risk that on Twitch? Yeah. Oh well, it's it's our trusted <laughs> our trusted uh, thought cops fans are gotcha. only the best, only the best, the brightest. You know. Uh, yeah. Speaking of the best, we've also uh, been hitting our YouTube account a lot more recently. So go give us a follow, subscription, whatever the hell they're calling it. Hit that bell. Uh, search for Thought Cops on YouTube. <laughs> we are, we got, like I said, we're working on videos. Uh, Grant and I got some exciting stuff coming up very soon. We're filming something this coming weekend that I'm very excited for. So give us a subscription on YouTube. And yeah, like I said, get all the notifications and everything. We're putting up all sorts of clips from the Twitch stream, clips from the show. Uh, it's the easiest way, I think, for new people to get into the show. So you can just kind of send people snippets and clips and everything from Thought Cops. And yeah, I think it's a, a great entryway into the uh, the uh, pantheon that is our little podcast here. We like that. Have you guys started on OnlyFans yet? That's next. Soon. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Next. yeah. We have... <laughs> We have an official uh, OnlyFans over at NFHC Podcast where we we'll, we'll do foot stuff. Let's come come simp our free garbage on OnlyFans. Wait, do you really? Oh, oh yeah, we have an official fucking <laughs> OnlyFans.com forward slash NFHC Podcast. I gotta ask, have you made any money? No, it's free. Um, uh, oh, that's, it, that's courteous. It, dude, it's harder than I thought to get on that motherfucker. It took me 
I was getting made fun of ruthlessly by Dylan, our other co-host, of how long it took. It took me like five attempts to get our account fucking on there. So, really? Yeah, they're picky as fuck, man. You have to like, t- you have to do a selfie with your driver's license and like write out all yeah. this tax shit. It's fucked up. Wow. The tax man cometh, making everything on. Um... It's all our shit's free though. I was like, why is this? So- how how is it going to be failing out your taxes in April when you have to write down? Um... What I do for a living, I, I watch people <laughs> shit and cum with my friends. I drink myself into a stupor and I take pictures of my feet for money. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's Sometimes, the new economy, man. Yeah, the, it's the yeah, it's the, it's the new normal. That is. You're right. You're right. It is. <laughs> and the sooner we embrace it, the better. Mm-hmm, it's absolutely. a foot based economy. It's a foot based economy. Fucking Dave, our other host, kept saying how gorgeous his feet were because we've been separated this whole time with uh, the quarantine and shit. Yeah. So we're, we. We videotape it now, or videos, Christ, screen capture it and put it on YouTube with all our cameras, and we'll all prove it. And he put his foot on camera, so we made a whole own video about it. So, oh, that's perfect. I don't, I don't know if that's a selling point or not, but uh, yeah. You know, I'm sure someone out there listening will be enticed by that. So <laughs> go ahead. What, what's a, what's a URL? OnlyFans.com slash. And a facey podcast. Okay. Well, that's just great. We, we got to get on that too, Grant. Uh, I know Grant, you, uh, Zwick was saying that he's been watching the bimbofication of uh, of Grant in real time ever since he started working with us. Just Yeah. Well, yeah, Zwick has uh, emotional problems and needs someone to cling on to. And apparently that's me. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, and I'm just, we, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming soon. I, there's a lot I want to talk about here, but I don't want to spoil too much. But you'll see. So anyway, moving right along to a very famous, a very favorite segment of the show, Two Minutes of Hate, where we like to blanket punish all that annoying, irritating, anger, rage, inducing stuff that we see on the internet. Uh, my Two Minutes of Hate this week is this, uh, this thing on Twitter where it says, like this and see what happens. Now, I first saw this recently. Uh, for the Dragon Quest video game series, there must have been some sort of anniversary or something. So you guys know on Twitter how uh, when there's a, a popular, not even just popular, but like a promoted thing on Twitter where it's a hashtag and it shows like a little unique emoji at the end of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had one for Dragon Quest. And I guess if you hash to put this hashtag on your tweet and somebody hits the little like button, the little heart it would turn into a little Dragon Quest slime and jump up in the air and disappear. And it was like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. So there have been. Yeah. And uh, there's been a number of things that have uh, a number of people who have attempted to get to do that where they're like, like this and see what happens. And there's like a hashtag or something. And then you (laughs) click on it and you feel like a fucking asshole. (laughs) Well, I I, I, I take that. that like right back. I don't want to see. Yeah, I don't want to see someone's going to scroll past that and see my name and say Kevin like this. And they're going to be like, oh, what a no, I I made one of those statuses. I said, like or retweet this and see what happened. I got like four new followers from doing it. What did I what did I do as a result? Absolutely nothing. You got to see nothing extra. But, you know, this is the game of Twitter is you got to you got to play the game. And sometimes you win cool prizes like four random (laughs) followers that are like, what's what's this guy on about? And And then they'll end up like unfollowing you when they see your personality or at least that's what happens. to Whatever. It's activity. I got to say, I got to say real quick, you guys have ramped up your Twitter game like a shitload in like what the past five weeks. You think so? Yeah, it went from Grant saying, I'm fucking off Twitter. I'm just going to do my own thing. And now he's fucking killing it out there. I see him. When have I said that I'm going to be off Twitter? Aside from just like when I do a joke about like, I'm quitting this website and then immediately you, go back to it. You, slow, you slowed down a couple mid pandemics ago. You were, you were upset. Oh, yeah, because I, I, was, I was like <laughs> doing things. I was trying to live my life. Yeah. But now I'm back. Now I'm back with my head in the Internet and uh, <laughs> not enough money for a therapist. So all of my uh, inner anger comes out and I direct it at the world and I just fucking pull the trigger. And oh, it's yeah. so appropriate with that Luigi giving the middle finger too. <laughs> yeah. The avatar. Uh, so, yeah, my, my punishment for this is uh, like this and see what happens. Yeah, like this and uh, uh, go to jail. That's your punishment. <laughs> Go to jail. It's good. You got anything better, Grant? I'm kind of grasping at straws here. No, just go to jail. That's that's perfectly fine. Go to jail. There you go. Yeah, that seems fitting. It doesn't have... seem like a super aggressive uh, offense. It's bad yeah. though. We all yeah, we already have uh 
5% of the world's population and 25% of the world's prison population. But let's just shove more people into cages. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Matt, what do you have for this this week? This uh, this horrifying world we live in. There's all sorts of trash to see on the Internet. So what's your trash this week? Um, there was a ton of stuff to go through and some of it was super serious, but I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I want to have fun. So, um, you know, that newer game fall guys where you're a jelly bean trying to compete against 64 other jelly beans to get the top spot. Something like those fucking assholes that spend their entire game trying to grab you as you jump and throw you down the fucking pit to you being eliminated every time. Ah, griefers, correct? Yeah, but this is griefing. That game is like the most colorful Mario esque platformer battle royale game ever it looks like just rainbows through rainbows and happiness vomited into your monitor but there's these like that game is the epitome of showing you that the human population is mostly giant bags of shit because as cute as the game is and everybody's little like their little stupid frumpy walk and their laughs and their little jump sounds there's these fucking assholes that they play their whole game to just grab you and throw you in the pit or stand in they stand at the finish line and try to fucking strong arm you into not qualifying hmm. slide down a dirty salted razor banister i hate to say it but that sounds sort of like a mirror to our actual society fall guys it, is nothing but a reflection <laughs> it is right. yeah it's a collection of 60 humans more than half are trash people it's god i hate it and then i get more mad the- at that game than any other game i've ever played in life online Wow. That's... Then you have the one or two one percenters <laughs> that just keep people from crossing the finish line. Yep. Motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, your uh, your punishment for these uh griefers. These fall oh. these fall griefs. Yeah, sliding down a rusted razor banister that I saw oh. like the rim of a margarita glass. Uh classy. Very classy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little class on top. Just, just give a sprinkle. Yeah. Uh Grant, you wanna do uh you got anything classy for us? Yeah, I got something classy. I got something real classy. It's all about uh it's all about what is now coined as internet pedophilia. Okay. Which is Oof. which is a special kind of pedophilia that has it's been coming up like more and more sort of recently. And I, I feel like people have been making jokes about it, but it sort of culminated to a head where it's like it's not going away. And the most egregious example I can think of it was uh, there was a thread on Twitter that was throwing in all of these celebrities that were actual pedophiles with like a a 32 year old that was dating a 20 year old. And so that 32 year old that's dating a 20 year old is what I what I am now going to refer to as an Internet pedophile, (laughs) Okay, which is to say I see where you're going, that it's completely meaningless. It's these people that are like. Ew, you're dating a 23-year-old? Yes, that is an adult. Somehow, that's like now unacceptable. Like all these weird threads and shit like that where it's like, oh, well, I don't I don't trust Leonardo DiCaprio because he doesn't date anyone over the age of 25 and it's like does he date minors? It's like <laughs> no. It's like who the f- <laughs> Okay, who- well, he's not a pedophile then. <laughs> no, he just gets a new model every year, dude. I mean, I don't Whatever. know, man. I don't know, man. Like sometimes I see a 56 year old dating a 44 year old and I'm like, eh, kind of sus, kind of sus. Oh, man, you right. were in diapers while he was drinking. Mm hmm. I, I had a tweet <laughs> like a couple months ago uh, about like a, an 80 year old or a 90 year old. And it it got some traction, but it's just like that. That's the level where we're all at is just like arguing like, oh, I don't like. Yeah, with some of this shit, yeah, if you're grooming minors or anything like that, but if if you're 25 and you're dating like a 19-year-old, it's not fucking pedophilia. Like what yeah. the fuck is going on where we just like constantly it's like there's not enough bad shit in the world where like all of the <laughs> actual pedophiles that like the Jeffrey Epstein's of the world are uh like mysteriously suiciding themselves in prisons all across the United States, and we can't get a handle on that. And so we turn our attention to a, a 30-year-old that's dating a 25-year-old. That's that's the new pedophilia, is we're not, accept, we're not like, happy with the things that are already bad and trying to, like, deal with the things that are already bad. We have to create new bad things for everyone to be upset about. It's a bad thing factory. Twitter and tw- Twitter in general is a bad thing factory. Hey, uh, uh, I just want to say they should rename the website to uh, badthingfactory.com. <laughs> it, it, you know, 
I can already think of the logo as a graphic as a graphic designer. I could already see the logo. Are you going to are you going to keep the bird or no? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it'll be one of those fucking things where they throw chickens down to fucking instantly shred them into beef or not. beef. Oh, yeah. God. Shredded shredded chicken meat. It'll be that. So Grant, this is a good one, Grant. I'm surprised this hasn't come up on the show already because I see this on Twitter constantly. Right. It, it's one of those things that like I feel like it it comes up, but then there's backlash to it. And oh, then it's yeah. like, OK, well, so we've dealt with it, so we don't need to talk about it. But it's like, but then it comes back and then there's more backlash and then it comes back again. And it's like these these cycles. And I think the only reason why I'm bringing it up now is because this is like the third or fourth cycle of this particular phenomenon, like coming up back into like mainstream dialogue, you know. And is it just me or did you not see this before quarantine either? Or at least this frequent, you know? Uh, yeah, no, definitely not this frequent, but I can't exactly remember the first time that I saw it. Because I, I, feel, I feel like I've seen it more frequently during the quarantine, but that could just because I have nothing else to do but seek this stuff out. Right, and I don't think anybody has anything else to do, because it, it just seems to be that, like, again, people are just inventing problems, you know? Like, oh boy, I can't, I sure do hate celebrities, uh, which which ones can I attack this week? And it's just like, well, aside from the ones that we already know are bad and the ones who like have had certain tapes of what they're, you know, uh, like uh, like Russell Crowe type moments or uh, Christian Bale type moments. Aside from those types of things, like what else can we pick on these poor, helpless celebrities for? And it's like, <laughs> let's find the ones that are dating women that are of like a societally acceptable age, but let's create like a weird sort of thing surrounding that. I don't know. Sure. Why not? I got you. I got you. I don't know. It it makes me tired. She's younger, but legal. As long as she wasn't groomed, she's gets her dumb decisions. Yeah, whatever. Who, who cares, man? It won't be the last dumb decision she makes. Am I right? <laughs> Thank you. I, I agree with the air horns. <laughs> ne- Nima in the chat brings up a good point, which is uh, over 18 is bare minimum. And I absolutely agree with that. I would never... I would never on any like uh never in any circumstance argue for anything other than that. But like uh yeah, when it, when it's just like, oh, this 40-year-old's dating a 20-year-old. It's like, yeah, who who nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's man. like maybe 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 that's a little strange. Yeah, it's a little strange, you know. It's just people making bad yeah. decisions cuz it's not going to last cuz she's not going to want to sit there and deal with him shit in this fucking pants and a walker while she's mm-hmm. fully a viable person. She's in it for the money, right. the fortune. Or, some, yeah. <laughs> or sometimes it does last and it's just like, oh, well, good for you. You figured it out, like whatever. But it's it's just one of those things where it's like, I just I can't find it in me to care about <laughs> what other people do. I got my own fucking shit to worry about, let alone like another fucking rich millionaire celebrity. I just don't care who they date or what they do or what fucking movie they're in. I, I hate I'm- all of them. Uh, cancel all celebrities. No more celebrities. <laughs> hey, can I, with- I add something? Yeah, go for it. Uh, they should go to jail. Oh, all right. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree with you to a point of just as long as they're. I don't give a fuck what they're doing as long as it's legal. I guess. Right. Well, like once it, once it crosses that line into illegality, yeah, fuck them. Get them out. Unless of here. it's like fucking weed or something stupid, like a drug or something. I don't give mm. a fuck about that. But like when you're hurt, when you're harming other people, go fuck. Uh, I O'Net Runner in the chat says, "Wait, who are we punishing? Uh, who cares? <laughs> what's, what's, the point, what's the point of this show? Fucking yeah. all who, who of them. Fuck? Yeah. On that note, if you haven't listened to Thought Cops before, every week we investigate the internet's outrage-inducing news stories, and then we sentence each perpetrator to a cruel and quite often unusual punishment. So, speaking of celebrities, have you guys Here seen this go. Paul Rudd video?" I no, actually I haven't. did not. No, I couldn't. I couldn't bear to watch. I know it. of it. <laughs> I I watched a few seconds of it. I knew we would end up talking about it on the podcast, so I linked to it in the chat here. Let's watch it together. I'm so excited. Yo, what up, dogs? Paul Rudd here, actor and certified young person. A few days ago, I was talking on the iPhone with my homie Governor Cuomo, and he's just going off about how us millennials need to wear masks because get this: apparently, a lot of COVID is transmitted by us millennials. No cap. So Cuomo was asked me, he said, Paul, you gotta help. What are you, like, 26? And I didn't correct him. So fam, 
Let's real talk. Masks? They're totally beast. So slide oh that in your DMs and twitch it. Oh, God. Vibe check. Yes, queens like ourselves. We want to go to bars. We want to drink, hook up, do our TikToks. Fuck okay. you. I'm not going <laughs> to preach at you like some celebrity. Look, <laughs> this is a combo where I talk and message. you shut no, up no. and wear your mask. Hello? I don't like. Oh, hi, Billie Eilish. I don't have a reaction What's to that? this. I'm just getting dizzy watching it. Man, I want to stand you. You're so my bae. Yo, listen, hype beasts. Oh, my God. Masks protect you and your dank squad. Because caring about other like, people. I get that they're doing the irony, but holy fuck, this is embarrassing. Well, it's so ironic that it's completely unaware. Now that's thick. Your dank squad. You want a challenge? How about a stop the pandemic challenge? Are you doing that? a TikTok, a it looks like? Challenge. That fun enough for you? My name is Paul, and I'm six feet tall almost. And I wear my mask, and it's so uh, that you wear I know where mask. they got that back. Please wear your mask. Just wear, wear a too mask. Just wear long. a mask. It's easy. It's simple. Please. It's There's not hard. YouTube. People are dying. Yo, Hundreds why isn't of thousands he of people one? are dying, and it's preventable. Yeah. There's nobody around it's him. It's preventable. Just wear a mask. I shouldn't have to make it fun. It's science. It's, I mean, he should be wearing science. one like, for the point of the video. No. <laughs> I mean, they they should have shown him. At, wait, there. Okay, there it is. Hey, hey. Look at <laughs> but they make it look like look a dirty us. diaper. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, because he's me. doing hot ones or whatever the fuck. Hot, the hottest ones. Virus. What the fuck, dude? Oi. <laughs> okay. You know, this is. Hold on, real quick. A lot. Yeah. I hate to say this, but you know how we talked about how the internet tried to ruin Keanu Reeves and they might possibly have succeeded. Yeah. I think it's possible that we may have ruined Paul Rudd. I think so. I mean, I was pro Paul Rudd until the Ant-Man movies. And then those movies were so stupid that they attacked like anybody that can critically think. So I've been anti, I've been anti Rudd for a while. I never saw those movies and I just, I don't care. There's just like, <laughs> there's this meme where it's like, ah, oh, Paul Rudd has an age today. And it's like, just right. Come on. We, <laughs> we get it. He looks good for his age. He looks incredible for his age. He looks amazing oh, for his age. I mean, he, stout, looks, dude. he just looks amazing in general. All right. God, I want to drink the fucking sweat off his abs. Wait. I mean, just wear a mask. Oh, okay. Just wear yeah. a mask. Anyway. So <laughs> this is, I mean, we, it's. I mean, are you are you mad because it's an anti? Are you an anti-masker or what? I, I am now. The masks cause COVID. <laughs> okay, they cause COVID. I don't know how, but Bill <laughs> Gates and reason. his fucking microchips and the the NFL and the NBA they all want you to wear a mask because the masks cause COVID because the the Soros. And the Illuminati <laughs> are all, they want you to get COVID so that oh they take God. over. But the thing that they don't want you to know is that COVID doesn't actually exist. But the masks give you it, even though it doesn't exist, because they want complacency. They want you to get your fucking hand jobs from a Starbucks, and they want you to tip on the way out. <laughs> you hate the video that much, huh, Grant? Oh, man. That was good. Here's here's the thing, because we, we talk about, like... Mm -hmm irony a lot on the show we talk about irony too much on we the do show. yeah well we used to <laughs> at some point um and then we probably stopped talking about it because it was no longer like relevant to anything that we were talking about but this is very relevant because like this is the thing where he's obviously doing the the uh 30 rock how do you do fellow kids meme mm -hmm. but just like the the ant the the mask version the pro mask uh version of that yes and it's just like this is why like zoomer humor is so fucking weird with all of the <laughs> this level of irony and this level of irony and like what does anybody mean anymore it's just like because all of this shit that i used to like where people used to do things ironically to make a point has been co-opted by these people <laughs> who just want to fucking ruin this, my life. I think this Paul came out Rudd on the same day as my all, life. Those, uh, all those Zoomers fucking That's storming why. that target in their righteous path of screaming at everybody to take their masks off in Florida. I think it was the same day. Yeah. How like tar Target has become like the the physical manifestation of like <laughs> the battleground that we're fighting the culture war on. 
Yeah, it's just like fuck? either we're burning down targets and looting them, or we're like protesting inside of them that masks cause COVID. And it's just yeah. like, why? Why target? What did target I can, do? I can tell you why. You know how bulls see like that red cape and they go running <laughs> towards it? It's our animal instinct. Yeah, we see that, that bullseye, the target logo. And we're yeah. just drawn to it. We're just like, we treat it like a fucking pyre to burn and yeah. send a send a point to the people who will fucking listen. Yeah, we don't brother. even have a choice. We're fucking animals, man. Yeah, they painted we a love target, target on the front. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, it'd be really funny <laughs> if, like, there's next time, perfectly good sorry. WalMarts to do that in. I'm, that's all I'm saying. I, I mean, I mean, and yeah, there's a reason we're going because target. target is red. It's the color red. We're drawn to it. Walmart's blue. Maga. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried protesting in a Walmart? You just get immediately pacified. They think you're one of the <laughs> like employees. They put a blue <laughs> vest on you. Calming. I just want health insurance. Exactly. <laughs> God. Don't we all? Mm-hmm. Anyway, Paul Rudd, masks. Uh, this is just, yeah. I think I think Paul Rudd should have to wear a mask. Forever. I think that Paul Rudd should have to wear the mask. Uh, you, you guys remember that movie Son of the Mask starring uh, Jamie Kennedy? Well, Paul Rudd should have to do the sequel to that horrific abomination of a movie. Oh, wh- the son of the son of the mask. I mean, you say that, but I could easily see a reboot of the mask with Paul Rudd. What about that movie no, with Cher? Not, a reboot. not a-, a reboot, a sequel to the son of the mask. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to I'm going to one up you and I'm going to say, what about that movie with Cher mask about that dude that had the most fucked up head that existed? That was a good movie. I've yeah, never just, seen it. Just make Paul Rudd. Um, be yeah, the mask had, uh, kid. Elephant Titus, yeah. Elephant Titus of the everything above his neck, I think is the technical oh, you, term. You mean, you mean the elephant man? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll post a picture, dude. Yeah, it's, it's a different movie. No, it's the same movie. <laughs> well, I remember movie, I remember specifically seeing it. Has logged on. I saw it in middle school because the TV guide said it was the mask, like with Jim Carrey. And, and then was, this popped up in your in your, oh, in your grill. Oh, yeah, 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 this movie, yeah. And yeah, I watched Paul it anyway. look like that now. That seems fair. So, this is a good one, Grant. Tell me now. I need uh, to know. Kanye West took his eight second video this week. Who saw it? Show of hands. See, I'm seeing a couple I didn't, hands. Uh, I didn't look dart at it, but I did. I didn't look at it, but I did scroll past it a number of times. So, I mean, it's. I don't. I don't think anybody who has a Twitter account and was on this week could have missed this because. Yeah, it, uh, it, it just says, trust me, I won't stop. And it's Kanye West with uh, one of his Grammy Awards in a toilet bowl. And he is, um, <clears throat> uh, he is how you say, uh, going to the bathroom on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Man likes to keep a clean bowl. Yeah, I, I just want to say, yeah, he's got an incredibly uh, clean piece of porcelain there but mm-hmm. that is and also a very a, can we also is comment it? on his piss it looks very healthy you can tell he's staying hydrated it's like crystal clear uh not a bit of cloudy yellow in the whole batch it's very hydrated very hydrated yeah and he's wearing some cool shoes too if you can see that there so yeah, easy so yeah there you go this is all <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy commercial yeah i mean and we all saw it you know, it's like we would have all the thing is, if it was a promoted tweet for shoes, we would have just scrolled past it. But the fact that right. he is pissing on a trophy, we're all going to watch that or at least see a split second of it. Mm-hmm. So and then we see the shoes right there, too. And I'm like, damn, those shoes look cool. Can I defend my honor in your discord real quick? Absolutely. Yeah, if you need I to. do keep a clean toilet, but I do visit friends houses that do not. Mm. That's true. And you're not going to see that at Kanye's house, that's for sure. And no, his underpaid maids are doing a fantastic yeah. job. He's like, I want this to look good. I'm going to be shooting a very, <laughs> very viral video today. <laughs> so, yeah, this really uh, this really says something. Well, it's it's as as uh, the poet Eminem once said, uh, you think I give a damn about a Grammy. Half of you critics can't even stomach me, let alone stand me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> prolific so I, fuck, dude. I believe i believe that uh kanye was uh giving what what they call in the industry uh big ups to his uh boy eminem okay so you think this was sort of a tribute i i believe so i i it, at the very least a reference of sorts 
Have you ever seen that video of Rocco Bodhi pissing on a Ouya? <laughs> the gaming so. console that failed miserably at Ouya? Yeah. Is that what he had, he had a video. No. <laughs> he had a video exactly like this from like whatever, 10 years ago, where he just like it wasn't oh. working and he just like walks to the bathroom, puts it in the toilet bowl, and it's the same exact framing <laughs> shot where he just starts pissing on it. And like the next day after this came out, he's like, I've never been more like honored and ashamed to have a million people send me the video of this guy peeing on a trophy. <laughs> Dude, that thing sucked a bucket of dicks. And apparently so does a Grammy. Um, yeah. I yeah, mean, they're easy to earn. Hey, uh, Kanye, I'm going to let you finish that piss stream. Oh, but uh, anyway, however, the rest of it goes. I mean, we have a health right. chart at the back of my work here in Arizona because it's hot. It's hot in the summer. So we have like a piss color measuring thing. Really? He's on the upper end of healthy. Yeah, he's, he's good. God, we should get one plenty, of those here. Plenty of water. You know, for the freaks. Yeah. You, could just, you could just buy one and just tape it to your wall. No, I think we should have it in like every store. It should be on the trains, you know, on the bus benches. I want to I want to make sure that people are, you know, staying, staying as hydrated as Kanye here. Well, they don't put enough of them out in Arizona because Dylan, my co-host work, he works in construction and people just piss in bottles and leave them in the hallways and these skyscrapers mm. he's wiring up. And they're just it looks like they pissed out coffee. Oh, boy. Like, Jesus Christ. You're going to die by 4 p.m. Well, Jeez. yeah, I can't imagine doing construction in fucking Arizona of all places. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you got to be drinking water. Oh. You got to be drinking water. Well, so what did we did we do the punishment? What's the punishment? The punishment is uh, who who runs the Grammys? Who Who's Jail. in charge of that? Jail. Tim F. Uh, Grammy. <laughs> Jail. I was actually going to put a little bit of effort this time, and I'm going to say that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe yeah, I, I was going to say Grammy. I was going to say Mr. Grammy gets to go poop on him. Um, what about I if think... he's uncut? He has to take his foreskin and wrap it around the tr- like. The, oh the, my the, the, the horn of that record player or whatever. That, You've seen that too many like? fucking bad videos, man. Yeah, your your podcast has poisoned your mind. <laughs> yeah, worse just, than this what? podcast has that's, poisoned our mind. That's mind. just not something that would normally come to a person's mind if they didn't spend the last. 200 That's not Fridays that watching con- stuff like this. They have the skin. That's what else are you going to do with it? It's true. That I would consider he's got a point. safe for human yeah. consumption. <laughs> That's what he should do, though. Speaking of things that uh, you should do, are, are you all going to vote? No. Are you all going to vote for Joe Biden? No. Well, you should. Okay. Oh, shit. They took down the video. Ah, man. Fuck. Okay, now I got to find it. Fuck. That I'll was a good that. segue, too. They knew we'd be talking about this tonight. I'm telling you. They knew the okay, thought so cops were coming. <laughs> they've done their homework, I guess. They've uh, they've on. hidden from the watchful eye of the thought cops. I found it. Oh, there you go. But you can never run too far because we will always catch you. <laughs> Just when you pull the motherfucker off the Internet. There's Grant right behind you. Listen, kiddo, I get it. I don't like the two-party system. I think our country's corrupt. And quite frankly, I don't want to vote for Biden. It feels like voting for a Republican. But I'm gonna do it. You want to know why? <laughs> because the alternative is a fucking fascist. A fascist is a fascist. Maybe we can have the conversation about dismantling the two-party system when a fascist is running. They look like running. a Homestuck character. Maybe we can do that later, kiddo. Champ. Chief. <laughs> Maybe we can talk about it uh, later. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Is there a disease you get from cringe too much? Hey, you Cr- turn into a raisin. <laughs> you just a cringe California right into a raisin? tiny. Yep. <laughs> okay, I, I, I have a, them. They're just all old actors. I have. I have a theory. Yeah. <laughs> I think that their father is one of those guys who films video blogs in his truck, <laughs> ranting and ranting <laughs> about. Donald Trump is so great. And right. then why is it always in a truck? The two of them don't get along so well. But you know, <laughs> the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree because uh oh. you know, they're in the car, they're filming this other video. If you can see this is also for TikTok. You know, they're mm-hmm. they're, you know, expressing themselves the way that they were taught to express themselves growing up, which is of course sp- speaking into a camera inside of an automobile about politics. Also, did you notice how you're you're right on the money with this because they are in the passenger seat 
of their dad's truck oh, that he makes his God. other videos in, dude. Do you, and look at right. I would I, I I think they're holding the video camera themselves, but I don't know if what if <laughs> what if the two of them like switch cameras and they're like, okay, it's my turn. Okay, you done? Okay, I'm gonna film you now. What you don't understand about Trump country is this is trying. Yes. I'll be honest, <laughs> that sounds like a very healthy way to like bond with your child. As yeah, opposed well, to just screaming at each other, just like now, now I'll help you shoot yeah. the video. It's like that's that's nice. You can like, uh, share your disagreements with each other, yeah. and yeah, and who, it's not about who's right and who's wrong. It's about who gets the most likes. It's about that clout <laughs> score. I'll fucking tell you though. I woke up one day, <laughs> and this was just plastered all over my fucking Twitter. I couldn't avoid it. I woke up, and it was like the first twenty tweets were all this video. I saw it so like at a certain point, I can't fucking I can't avoid watching this stuff. And then I've watched it like 20 times now and their fucking voice is drilled into my head. A fascist. He's a fascist. <laughs> champ. champ. <laughs> I, I got to be honest. I, like when, when they said champ, it was like needles through my skin. I was like, <laughs> just like cringing. Uh... Anyway. I thought it was funny because I thought they were joking, but they're probably not. So that makes it's it. not a joke. It's all <laughs> it's all just it's all happening. happening. This podcast is not a comedy <laughs> podcast. It's actually the news. Yeah, we're actually uh, we're actually political pundits. It's bad this ones. Is, yeah, this is our our honest takedown of what I whatever. I don't, I don't just know that this this is terrible, and this is this is a trend that's been happening on on TikTok, hmm. and it makes its way over to Twitter is these fucking zoomer ass fucking <laughs> kids fucking do this shit where they're talking down to you and it's like first of all you talking down to me makes me want to vote for trump okay i am your elder <laughs> i yeah i shall not be spoken to in such a manner and uh because that's what politics is to me is uh when someone is more annoying then i do the opposite of what they i i know nothing about policy or like the effects and implications of what uh what actual like politics entails i only i go oh those sjw's sure are annoying i'm going to vote for the opposite of what they like man it's it's That's how also i make my fucked. decisions it's yeah. also fucked when when biden first started look like he would be the lead man running against trump i'd see these internet arguments on twitter of people no sense of irony or joke being like, well, at least our candidate fucking sexually assaulted less women. Like, oh, no. Yeah, I'm honestly oh, surprised that point oh. wasn't brought up in this video. Oh, like, <laughs> I love, you know, people, if this guy's got 40, he's got 30. It'll matter. Burp, burp. People were doing that, like, before <laughs> Biden even won the nomination. Yeah. Like, they were just like, well, we got to vote for him. And it's like, no, you don't. You, yeah. have, other, you have other options. <laughs> There's 20 other people up there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, the 20 other people just have that, like, confused meme face. Like, what? <laughs> anybody else, like, anybody else, anytime they see a picture, a uh, picture of Bernie, anybody else get really sad? Like, I look at a <laughs> picture of Bernie now. I just kind of want to cry. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else can relate to my my strife, but uh, that's how I feel as I look at a picture of Bernie and I just start tearing up. Oh, man, uh, speaking of tearing up, though, let's get to a punishment here. I've actually got one. <laughs> I've got one. Yeah, go for so, it. So, you know, as I said, my theory of the father and child who were of different political opinions mm -hmm. filming themselves. Right. I think that they should do a Freaky Friday. <laughs> Just a little, uh, a little position switch. One, you know, you walk a mile in my shoes, I walk a mile in your shoes, and we learn nothing. Mm. That's a punishment. <laughs> not, not we learn something at the end. We just learn absolutely nothing because that's what most people's political opinions are are based on. Just sort of like just this vapid sense of just like I want to be right about something. Yeah, basically. Anything else you want to get to here? Uh, Despacito. No. Um, <laughs> I'll add a punishment uh, to it if that helps. Yeah, yeah, um, go for it. Yeah, go let's on. say because you know they they are filming in the same truck. I hope that truck is a Nissan, and I hope their timing chain breaks, and they have to spend two grand to fix it. Oh wow, awfully specific. Yeah, that's not something that happened to you, is it? I'm not mad about it at all. When it happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah, check those warranties, folks. Yeah, I think I'm, that might, uh, unless you have some. Nah, not really. Right, cool. 
But let's get to key to the city. Something nice, something good, something swell that we saw this week. My key to the city goes to Japan because they made a fucking Gundam. Haven't they always done that though? No, they made a what looks to be a 10 story tall Gundam. Yeah, like 20 years ago though. I don't know. It looks, I mean, it's, it moves and shit. I mean, that's awesome for sure. (laughs) I mean, I, I I haven't seen it's news to me, but I, I, this, this thing, like the head, the arms, the legs move. I'm giving them like five years before they fucking deploy them. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to have satellite fucking footage from Trump's with like, they're building a goddamn Gundam to come after us. (laughs) Trump gets sad. The Gundam didn't show up at his uh, re-inauguration. Could you could you fucking imagine like uh could you imagine Donald Trump giving a press briefing on the Gundam just being like <laughs> yeah, they've got a Gundam it's big it's huge don't we're working on our own Gundam right now it'll take two months to two months to build our Gundam and they'll do great battles great many things it's like, oh, he'll edit no. the footage like fucking it'll oh, look actually, like Iron Man I- too. IO Netrunner brings up. up a point of the chat. He says, unless they found some Gundanium, it's just a mobile suit. Oh, fuck. Well, I, who, how do we know they didn't? Yeah. Shut up, nerds. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Matt, what do you got for us? Uh, so give us something sweet. Uh, I got two sweet things for. Uh, so I don't know. Bring, one, bring one's, one's a friend of your show. So maybe I should just do that one. OK, do both. Um, do both. Do both. We love we All love right. our friends. All right, I will start with uh, the one that's not a friend of your show right now. Oh, um, there was the 3080 NVIDIA uh, video card release day today. It was pegged for 6 a.m. Eastern mm-hmm. or no, 9 a.m. Eastern, which is six here. But whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Um, bots bought all of them and threw them on eBay. But like people with that are bots, you know, like they they made oh, the bot go, they drained the stock immediately of them. So a counter bot was made to inflate scalper prices with no intention to purchase. So this guy wrote a bot that went out to eBay and found all of the listings and it would auto create an eBay account and it would auto bid fake money of, so, cause basically the way eBay works is if the, the top bid doesn't pay, you have to redo the auction. So damn, that's really some cool of these, though. Some of these cards, these cards are only 700 to $800, like depending on the manufacturer or whatever. Yeah. Um, before I got on the podcast, there was one on eBay for $120,000. Good Lord. <laughs> and it was just rows and rows and rows of these botters and scalpers getting fucked that they're going to have to keep relisting it. And then they're going to have to put it up again. And then the bot's going to hit them again. And the manufacturers of the cards are pissed off. This happened. Because they don't, it was only to buy it. Not they don't physically have it yet, so they're not they're they're going to get canceled from even getting it. So I thought that was a a good little bright point on the internet. Yeah, I mean scalpers. You know, every time there's a limited product on the internet, scalpers are a huge problem. So I mean, bots like this could potentially be the solution to that, or yeah, potentially make it worse. I don't know. Yeah, it literally was in. Um, they sold out of the entire stock of the video card across every website that sells video cards in twelve seconds. Oh my god! Yeah, it was it was dumb. It might we might end up though turning into like the third Matrix movie though, where it's a bunch <laughs> of fucking weird robots that are like out to kill humans, you know? Yeah, to restore balance to the internet or whatever the fuck. So we we should be careful with that. Well. It was also today I've learned, I've always learned in gaming and whatever, like this shit, I've always learned that bot means like garbage, like it's a terrible thing. And I never thought of a bot for good. True. So yeah, I thought that was awesome. Much like that uh, Gundam that they're building. Yeah. Unless, unless it's just a mobile suit and then it could go fuck itself. Yeah. I I don't know what you guys are talking about. (laughs) What's, what's your other key to the city? Oh, Asterios had a tweet today that made me smile. What was it? We don't talk about him on the show. No, I'm kidding. Go <laughs> uh, ahead. Well, I will at NFTPodcast.com. No, it says, imagine being PewDiePie. Imagine going, $70 million endorsement deals are okay. But what if I really, <laughs> but what if I really love, all I really love is the N-word. I mean, <laughs> it, it made it me could smile be true. and I thought it could that be was true. Good. Yeah. All that, you know, no matter how fit and fast she gets, you know, <laughs> it means nothing. Yeah. Yeah, go back to two minutes of hate. What's up with all these YouTubers getting abs in the quarantine? So I'm saying non-essential called, motherfuckers. It's called steroids, baby. <laughs> That's all I got. Grant, 
Uh, my key to the city this week goes to the Dugarita. <laughs> what? The- I've never, <laughs> never, never said it out loud until right now, and it it feels disgusting to say out loud. You can try it if you want to. Dugarita. Uh, Dugarita. It feels terrible to say out loud. Yeah, but it's not it, fun. Like that. It's uh, Red Lobster uh, released its own margarita. Oh, it's oh. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Talk about and classy, a of, Matt. A it low-key people, sounds kind of good, though. Like A lot of like, people were complaining about it. Don't judge. But honestly, I would I would have a Dugarita. I mean, it's it's the the w and the g creates a harsh sound when you say it do 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 garita do gu- yeah it's it sounds terrible do garita but i w- i would have a garita i wouldn't not if someone offered do garita da do garita yeah i would i would do it i'd yeah, fuck yeah. with that i mean it's a yeah mountain dew with fucking salt on the rim or Somebody the sugar needs- Somebody needs to stand up for these brands, you know? These people Seriously. are barely picking on the Pepsi Corporation. <laughs> and someone needs to stand up for them. They could be yeah. losing billions. How about your filth? Yeah. I mean, if they put vodka in it or something, that could be good, right? That's something. Something. Who has all I know is I read about it and it's just, holy shit, I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good impression. Yeah, that's what I sounded yeah, like when great. I was at work on my computer just fucking scrolling the internet. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I got. This week's Thought Cops word of the week is VTuber. VTuber is a virtual YouTuber. Simple enough, oh. right? So it is basically a little avatar. It's typically like an anime girl. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a virtual YouTuber or online entertainer, uh, typically speaking Japanese. Basically, these people, they're streamers. Uh, typically uh, grown Japanese men who use voice modifiers and uh, cute anime girl avatars and play video games and they get lots and lots of views. I feel like uh, what's what's that? There's a dog one that people are obsessed with. Yeah, I feel like that's got to be like one of the biggest celebrities right now. I, I think her name's Alinity. Oh, no, that's their uh, their offspring. Just kidding. Oh, the one that got the one that just made one, I guess the uh, poking pokey main. Yeah, it looks like she did make one. Yeah, apparently uh, somebody called her ugly and then like <laughs> they're making fun of it. like four, somebody says she was ugly in chat and 48 hours later she had a VTuber. <laughs> now, now they're singing a new <laughs> tune. Dude, all that technology is crazy where you can just have like you trigger their mouth movement and facial gestures off of you pick what you want it to do. Sometimes the people programming it when they're setting up their Twitch streams will fuck up and they'll just put the game audio. So they're having like orgasm faces the whole time to like explosions and gunfire. It's really weird. That's going to be really re- wiring a lot of kids brains the wrong way. Just, <laughs> just, I'm just going to call that now. Yeah. I mean, I'd I'm, like to f- I'm wired I'd, the wrong way. I'd like to see. Bad. I'd like to fuck with some of that kind of tech stuff. I don't know. There was that one. Um, I think she was a Twitch streamer. She was a 64 year old Chinese woman. And she had some tech on her face that made, oh, that made her uh, 21. So she was getting all these subs and then it broke one day and wow. she just all of a sudden it like pulled all the fucking CGI off of her head. <laughs> She's this like unwashed 65 year old Chinese woman. I mean, you got to respect that, you know, got you got to yeah, respect, she, you got to respect the hustle. Well, you can watch in that. I, can't, I saw the clip like eight months ago, but you watch like a bunch of her viewers leave and then the ones that stayed tipped more. They're like, Ooh, it's, oh, wow. It's, it was weird as fuck. But, you know. Good for her, I say. People fuck feet. I don't know. Uh, Before we get to our final segment, which is our listener voicemails, uh, Matt, go ahead and plug everything you got. Oh, yeah. uh, Not for Human Consumption podcast. That's uh, my podcast with my buddies. We do it every we do it live every Friday in the discord. And we have patreon.com forward slash NXT podcast for the uh, clips, bonus episodes to get into the discord live. Uh, It helps us out, you know, and then uh, if you want to. Check all of it out. It was the main hub of its NFHCpodcast.com. And then uh, twitch.tv forward slash Grim Wolf Prime. Um, pretty much do like 20 hours a week, 15 to 20 hours a week. Very nice. Streaming. Do you get benefits uh, from it? From Twitch? Yeah, um, I get that <laughs> I'm higher in the line for transcoding and I still miss out on it sometimes. But yeah. What about, what about dental? Dental? No, there's there's no health insurance here. 
Never mind. But do I need dental? You've seen my stream. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're emailing answer. Twitch support right now. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, but... Let's get to those voicemails here. Uh, if you want to leave your own voicemail, give us a call. 312-788-7361. Or you can always send us an audio file to thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. Hit it. This is Discord News for this week. Do, 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 do. <laughs> After hearing too many uninformed opinions about it, Yosef decided to actually watch the movie that shall not be named to report whether it is actually as bad as everyone seems oh, to God. think. Contrary to Starlight Alpha, he had a very reasonable reaction to it. Who would have thought that a brony had bad opinions about art? <laughs> Story levels were off the charts today in hashtag Game Americans, as several people live posted about the PlayStation 5 reveal. Oh no. While most people's reactions were reasonable, in a stunning turn of events, Sleep Science announced that he is going to buy the new PlayStation <laughs> 5 at launch. I expected him to wait for a deal. Oh in a vain effort God. to get followers on yet another social media platform, <laughs> Kevin shared his letterboxed profile in hashtag ThoughtCops. In an unexpected turn, the people in the server turned on him, shitting on his rating for Tenet. Mm. One star, Kevin, come on, man. Come on. It was so good. Uh, Dude, it was so good. I risked my life to see that movie. You have to listen good. to Fire Bros. Uh, also in hashtag ThoughtCops, Kevin, Nico, and Grant posted pictures from the set of a Be Nice to Me Productions production. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One of the photos showed sleep signs. He looks exactly how you would expect him to. <laughs> For the first time ever, Grant posted a shirtless picture of himself in lifts. There isn't much to report on since he barely looks like he lifts. Bullshit. In hashtag Fire Bros, Grant asked wow. what he and Kevin should review for the next episodes of Fire Bros. I.O. Walnut suggested The King's Man coming out in 2021 as a sick burn related to the delayed episode. Oh, come on! Grant responded with a very clopper reply. This week's Discord news has been presented to you by... Yosef and Io Walnut. Great news, boys. Great yeah. job. Great news, boys. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of get over. Hey, get in our Discord if you haven't already. Uh, if you don't know where the link is, just DM at Real Thought Cops on Twitter, and we'll give it to you. Yeah, it's a bunch and, of fucking vowels and shit. Yeah, at least ours is. <laughs> hey, we we got some numbers too. Okay, they're gonna be starting a Thought Cops uh, Discord news Patreon soon. <laughs> Hold on, let, let me wait for all these fucking sirens to go by. Hold on, as long as we get a cut. I've always loved that about your show with the Thought Cops. There's, there's literally, every time I've listened, there's fucking sirens in the background. Totally. Yep. It's the aesthetic. Yeah, that was, uh, Grant lives in a nasty neighborhood. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I live in, quote, downtown. <laughs> hey, this is Zwick. Uh, just want to say, um, why, why do musicians hate making music after a while, even though they're really good at it? And uh, my key of the city goes to home slice. You're a real one. Peace. Kind of sobered up at the end there. Uh, it's a little aimed at Grant and myself, I think. Yeah, why do we hate making music? Because we've first. done it. We've done it forever. A lot of people you work with are assholes, and they just jade you. They just get so jaded against it. Yeah. And then, like, you release a song, and it was like, "This is awesome!" And then it does get some traction, but then you see like somebody post just gets like thousands. How is podcasting yeah. any different, though? It's fun. It's easy. Yeah. It's- it's true. It's fun. It's easy. There's like some like I don't know. I've, it's I've more talked reach. about it. Yeah, I've talked about it before. But like playing playing shows to an empty venue is one of like the most heartbreaking things. <laughs> and then you have like these these people that are like worse than you that like just because their parents bought them like nice instruments, like they have forty people that show up only for their set, disappear before your set. And then, like, then after the show, you got to hang around with these, like, stupid douchebags. <laughs> like, playing playing shows was, like, one of my least favorite parts of being a musician. And that's, like, the part that you're supposed to like. And I, I fucking hated it, man. That sounds like any creative, like, scene, though. To be uh, fair, um, uh, we played really great shows all the time. Sounds so that, that, that means, you know, you know what that means, right? <laughs> That, mean, just that means that you guys were the douchebags. No, yeah. but no, it's it's no matter what though. Like even if you're pulling fucking heads or whatever, the promoter's still more friends with the fucking shittier ones, and they'll give them better time slots, and they'll stuff you. They'll stuff right. you first, even though you bring the crowd, and then you you have to hand. Dude, man, we played with some nationals where uh, Dylan and Dave and I's band. Like we brought like the majority of the crowd, and we had to hand over. 95% of the ticket sales to the touring band. I was like, well, what nobody's the- here for them. Whatever. Right. That sucks. 
And it's that. And then it's just a lot of, um, I don't know how other scenes are, but there's a lot of shitty, dumb local band scene politics that come into play. And like, you have to kiss the ass of people that don't even have tuners. They tune, they tune fully full volume in between songs. They don't have a hundred dollars to spend on a pedal. Even a hundred dollars. You can get one, you can get a headstock tuner. Just pop it on. It's like $3, (laughs) but no, it's fun. I still, I still, I'm just on a pause right now. But uh, yeah, me and Dylan are starting up something eventually soon. And and Home Slice has at the end of his voicemail. Home Slice is a real one. Hi, Blaine. Hi, Maddie. It's me, Barry. Hello, hey, Barry's. All I have to say is four finger scoopy. <laughs> no, could could you explain that one? A four finger scoopy? Yeah, I want to know. It's a hot NFAC uh um, foreplay move where you just fucking oh, no. cram four into a woman and scoopy. No, is this one of these videos you are watching? No, it was just a drunk moment on our show. That <laughs> do do you ever feel like you've seen so many of these sick videos that you want to like get creative and do stuff you've never seen? Maybe I'm like pretty <laughs> bored out there. Like <laughs> I mean, a, a pandemic, you know, new normal. Well, not even that. I'm a little older, so like I've just been through a lot of shit, like fucking yeah. touring in bands and doing other shit and little mini tours, nothing crazy, but mm-hmm. it's been a bit. I've been around the world. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to scoop some ladies. Hey, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No. Hey, nothing, nothing gets you scoop more than a podcast. Mm-hmm. Scoop the fuck out of them, bro. Jesus Christ. You guys need to put your voice on. Do not disturb. I I thought it was. That's just an inconvenient, like 20 seconds for me. Anyways. Hey, shut up. up. <laughs> Spaghetti. Uh, I'm not calling for you. I'm calling for Matt. Hi, Matt. How oh. you doing? You're my good friend. Good. Hey, no, um, take it deep. Be a good, be a good kid out there, and uh, don't do drugs. Okay, nope. love y'all. Never seems like solid advice. So yeah, you don't want to take that. I drink. Mm. No so drugs. we so we wasted twenty seconds of your time, and you wasted twenty seconds of our time. Next time, write a script down, and then read off the script for your voicemails, and then make it go two times speed. Yeah. Also, instead uh, of saying um for five seconds in the middle of it, how dare you waste my time like that with your ums? <laughs> shaking my Scoffing. head you also know it's always spaghetti because he has the fucking beep right when the voicemail starts his ah, they it trademark beep mm, it sounds like he walked like freshly walked into like a convenience store while he's making <laughs> his voicemail oh i'm driving through indiana again it's another like traffic one disgusting rotting ass it smells so bad as soon as i hit, hit the indiana border i'm like oh it smells like fucking old eggs and shit oh my god this Place, there is no God. I mean, there is no God, but there really is no God in Indiana. Ugh, you gotta stop going. So gross and it smells bad. All right, I I got a tip for you. Is you're so you're driving and you probably have the air conditioning on. You need to switch like your car's ventilation system from like taking inside, taking in outside air to like only reusing yep. the inside air i forget that what that's part. called well grant that might circulate be, that might be what's yeah. happening yeah it grabs your foot air and throws it back in your face okay so it, it very well could be <laughs> what's happening but i do indiana <laughs> indiana does smell terrible and when you drive through it you do need to do that you can't just you can't just willy-nilly just like <laughs> leave your fucking vents uh fucking just open spewing. to the elements spew yeah spewing fucking gary indiana air into your fucking like mouth yeah. you gotta you gotta close those things off yeah, mm-hmm. nobody wants a gary in their mouth nobody well no one no one i'm sure there's someone out there for it <laughs> nobody not a single person worst hey sock cups it's cheating puppy oh boy he's owning you know, it i've been thinking a lot about that girl that drake champagne puppy on instagram wrote his madonna oh. song for it I imagine what? he just wakes up any part-time working class girl from her family and kids and work and friends and whole life. And he starts paying her the seven twenty-five dollar hourly from McDonald's that she's missing out on for the few weeks he's smashing her for. And then he'll be like, yo, I feel like you only put out for 18.5 hours of first Does week. Does anybody know what's going nine on? nine hours of second week. I have no idea. 6.5 hours third week. You do the math. And then Good production value. Yeah, that's why I haven't stopped it. So even to tug taxes, I like how the beats like slightly in the left hand social and security the tax, medical care withholding, whatever special state tax she fucking has. 
Then he'll offer W-2 and the tax account. And then once he's done, he'll drop the sugar baby back into her old life when he's done with her. You know, how fucked up would that be on a scale of savage to gentleman? Just wondering what you guys think. I, I don't know what to do. Um, Attention, I.O. butt plugger slash soy face. I don't know what the fuck this guy's name is. Bite. Take the butt plug yeah, out of your ass and put it in your yeah, mouth. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Like, uh, like oh that's how you God. have to end that shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, cheat, cheating Poppy and the Discord newsboys have been like they've been waging shadow war with each other. <laughs> Man, I want shadow wars in art. We just have to get rid of like a weirdo every like three months. Man, so you know you made it. Yeah, we don't yeah. really have to. We don't really have to get rid of weirdos too often. A lot of times they leave of their own accord, except for one person. But uh, we, I, yeah. I don't. Here's I don't look at too you. many people, but every once oh. in a while, <laughs> <laughs> that's him. Yeah, we don't. We don't say his name anymore. That is him. You got him. <laughs> got him. Oh man. Well, uh, yeah. yeah uh, I I got no other response to. I have nothing that, to say really. to any of that. Voicemail production, that's, top that's, notch. Yes, I will. I will say that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have, okay. Okay. I, I'm going to stoke the flames here. Better production on that one than Discord news. Oh, <laughs> but am Get I wrong? Hands up. He's like, <laughs> that was a little, a little, yeah. Am I wrong though? He's no, you're not. No, I mean, he, sorry, Discord. So news. he's Discord news content though is great. Yes, hundred percent. It is the content is great, and I'm here for the content. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, he was adding sound. He adds sound effects and stuff. In Discord news, they just go with their mouth yeah you could download <laughs> the, that sound effect from YouTube. There's and a that in the beginning. There's a certain charm to it. I will admit. Yeah, like put a yeah. trap beat behind it with their mouth doo doop doop doops. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> well, the next episode should be interesting. Uh, Matt, thanks again for coming on it, man. We uh, I know it's been a long time coming. Thanks yeah, for having me it. on, boys. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Anytime. If anyone wants to leave us another weird voicemail of your own, give us a call. 312-788-7361. Or like I said, you can send us an email. Thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. If you feel like throwing us a couple bucks, getting some bonus content and supporting the show, Head on over to patreon.com slash thought cops where you can get all kinds of cool stuff. Otherwise, we'll see you next time in the same place. Bye. Yeah.